You may think of lamb chops as a special occasion dish, but if you buy lamb shoulder chops, they're much more affordable and you can serve them any day of the week. The reason most people don't cook with shoulder chops is that they think of them as a braising meat because there's a lot of sinew in there. But if you cook them really quickly and you keep them rare to medium rare, they're very tender, they're delicious. You really wanna to try to season it a little bit ahead, maybe 30 minutes if you have it. Just lets the salt penetrate the meat evenly. I'm also gonna use some coriander and a little bit of pepper. You wanna get the pan nice and hot before adding the chops. Once you've put the lamb in the pan, don't move it around. You really wanna let it get a nice deep sear and then just flip it once. Now once you flip them over, you do the same thing. Get them really brown on the other side. So these lamb chops throw off a lot of lamb fat. If your pan looks like this, then you just wanna spoon some of the fat off. You want just enough to coat the bottom of the pan. What you do wanna leave in the pan though are all those gorgeous brown bits, the fond. That's what's gonna give the sauce a lot of flavor, so don't take those out. Take some shallots and I'm gonna soften them right in the pan. If your pan got really dark and the shallots aren't enough to really loosen all of that dark stuff on the bottom, you can add just a little bit of water, maybe a tablespoon. So now I'm gonna add my anchovies. Now, don't even think about skipping these because these add a really important back note to the flavor. They dissolve in the sauce, so you don't really know they're there, but you can sort of taste their savoriness. And once those dissolve, now I'm gonna add the most important ingredient, green tomatoes. Now these, not only are they adding vegetable matter, they're also adding acidity, so I don't have to add any kind of wine or lemon because these have enough. And they're a great thing to do with green tomatoes that's not frying them. Garlic, you have to have garlic when you have lamb. It's the law. Season this with salt, and then you're gonna let it cook down. And I'm gonna add some honey because the acidity of the tomatoes just needs something to balance it out. Now I'm gonna add the lamb back to the pan because at this point the lamb is still extremely super rare inside and I want it to be just at the cusp of rare and medium rare. If you can't find your cover, it's somewhere around here, you can just use the same foil that you use to rest your lamb. That will work just fine. Yep, that's just right. Now you wanna serve these right from the pan. They've already rested, so they are good to go. And just a little bit of olive oil at the top. Use the good stuff if you have it or use what you got. And if you don't really like lamb, but you have these beautiful green tomatoes that you wanna use for something, make this dish with pork chops. Just don't skip those anchovies.